All right, men. Are we about ready for today's outing? Horses? Check. Saddlebags? Check. Wagon? Check. It seems like we're all set to go if everyone's ready. Right, gather round, men. Before we go, let's go over the guidelines for today. We are not going on a raid, so we have to be civilized. So today, we'll be on our best behavior and use good manners. Where will the horses go when we get there? Yes, the stalls. Please make sure to tie up your horses so they don't run off again like last time. What things are we getting today? We're going for clothes, tools, and provisions. Autumn and eventually winter are coming, so make sure to spend wisely on warm clothing. We have a combined budget for today that everyone contributed to, so try to stick to the list. If anyone has any extra coin, feel free to spend it on yourself. What happens if you get separated from the group? Yes, that's right. Go back to camp. We would rather not have another search party. Oh, and for the love of God, no stealing today, all right? Well, now that that's all settled, I think we had better be on our way. Hank will lead and I will bring up the rear. Alrighty, men. Saddle up. How are you feeling today, Doe Eyes? Did you sleep well last night? Because I know I sure did. <laughs> you can pout all you want, but I know how you like my teasing. You'd better quit blushing like that, lest the men wonder what sweet nothings I'm whispering in your ear. You're adorable, you know. <clears throat> yes, now on to logistical matters. We don't have any horses left to spare, but I plan to find you one of your own at the village square today. In the meantime, would you like to ride with me or in the wagon? It's your choice, Doe. Perhaps I do have a preference, but I'd like you to be comfortable more than anything. <laughs> no need to worry. My horse Lumberjack here could carry the weight of ten men. We'd be happy to have you. As you wish, Doe. You'll come along with Lumberjack and I. Let's get you settled first. Can you mount him on your own, or should I help you? Wow. You're quite swift. I imagine you would be a perfect shot with a bow while on horseback. Maybe one day I'll get to see you truly in action. Now, if you wouldn't mind just scooting back a bit, I'll get up there with you. There we go. Are you comfortable back there? Good. You may want to hold on to me so you don't slide round too much. Well, it's not just an excuse to have your arms around me. It is quite practical as well. By the way, have I ever told you how beautiful you are in my clothing? Ha! <laughs> I don't have to see you to know it's true. Now hold on to me. The troop is already leaving. We don't want to get left behind, now do we? It's not long to the village square. Maybe just an hour or so. 
I keep forgetting that you haven't been into town with us yet. It just feels like you've always been with us. Have you been enjoying your stay with us? Everyone has truly enjoyed your company. Myself, especially. I'm glad you're comfortable here. If there's anything any one of us could do to make you feel more at home, don't hesitate to ask. Yes, Doe. Ask any question you'd like. Whoa! Warn me when you're going to ask a question like that. Let me fall back out of earshot of the rest of the troop before I answer. No, I did not confess my secret identity to anyone else that night. Alexander bandaged my arm so no one could see the royal crest on my arm. I figured it best not to tell anyone else. So, as far as I'm concerned, only you and Alexander know. I wouldn't want the men to treat me any differently due to status. You know, that night after you found out, I was a bit worried you wouldn't come back. But I'm glad you did. My kingdom is a bit a ways away from this place. I do miss it sometimes, but to be honest, I'm quite happy here. I don't think I could have been this happy in a palace somewhere. While we're speaking of our pasts, I assume you were once a noble of some sort. Well, you're very educated, well-spoken, and you have skills that I have not known very many other women to possess. So why did you run, Doe? What of high society pushed you away? No, oh, you're awfully quiet back there. You don't have to answer if you're not comfortable. What was that? You'll have to speak up. Arranged marriage? <laughs> I suppose we aren't so different, are we? I suppose there's a reason I felt you were so easy to talk to when we first met. You truly do understand me and where I came from. Ah, it seems the troop has nearly lost us at this point. I can hardly see them. Can you, Doe? Well, I know of a little shortcut through a beautiful open meadow. How would you feel about taking an alternative route? Well then, let's go. It's freeing, don't you think? Riding as fast and as far as you can while the sun shines on you and the wind blows through your hair. No. What are you doing? Don't let go of me. What if you fall? Wow. Jeez. He's standing. She's so beautiful. She looks so happy up there. Doe, would you like to steer?
Here, just step over me and take the reins. I'll scoot back. Whoa, Doe. You sure know how to ride. I suppose it's my turn to truly let go. Okay. I have one hand off the saddle. And now... For the second. Whoa. Whoa. This... This is incredible. Why have I never done this before? Ha <laughs> ha! Sorry, Doe. You don't mind if I put my arms around you this time, would you? <laughs> Do you see that opening through the woods there? There's a trail through there that'll take us right into town. We finally made it, and it seems like we're right on time as well. The stalls are over to your right, just follow the rest of the men there. If you'd lend me your hand, milady, I am happy to help you down from there. Hello, Hank. I suppose you saw us come into town. No need to tease me like that. If you were riding behind this beautiful maiden, you'd also be hanging on for dear life. She sure knows how to ride. Perhaps a bit recklessly. <laughs> I'm just joking, Doe. Hank, we'll meet you back here once we've finished. Keep an eye on the other men for me, would you? All right, Doe. I believe we have some shopping to do. Come along. I know some wonderful clothing merchants over this way. Isn't it just beautiful how they hang the linens from their tents? It makes for a very colorful village block. Here are some nice linen shirts. Why don't you pick out a few, in whatever colors you like. Oh, here's a nice vest for when it gets colder. I think this would look well on you. <laughs> Even better, here's a matching one for myself. What do you think? Shall we take these home with us? Yes, thank you for your business, ma'am. Are you ready to move on, Doe? Doe? Oh, it seems that she's moved on without me. I wonder how she'd react if I came up from behind and... Hmm, hello there, Doe Eyes. It seems you ran off without me. Well... I was going to try to scare you, but I figured that that would be just a little too cruel. So I opted for the bear hug. Have you found anything else you'd like? A couple pair of trousers and some boots. Nice. Is there anything else you think you'd need clothing-wise? Well... If you change your mind, you're still welcome to borrow from my wardrobe. Now, how about we go find you a horse of your own, yeah? I know a lovely breeder. I'm sure she'll have a stallion fit for a powerful woman such as yourself. She's not far from here, just over this way. Do you need help carrying anything? It seems your hands are a bit full. Here, 
Let me hold on to these things so that you can choose a steed. I don't mind at all. The breeder operates out of that barn over there. Go run along. I'll be right behind you. Mm. Ah. Who knew clothing could be so heavy? I wish I'd brought a bag with me. But I'll manage. All right. I've finally made it, though. Where have you run off to this time? Oh, here you are. Have you made a friend? Well, it's very nice to meet you, Tucker of the Horse. Is this the one you'd like to take home, Doe? Yes. Fine choice. If you'd like, you can grab my coin from my belt. I can't really reach it at the moment, with my hands full. <laughs> I don't mind, Doe. Truly, I don't. Take however much you need to pay the breeder. And don't worry about the cost. Your smile is priceless to me. Besides, we've done this for every one of our members that didn't already own a steed of their own. You're one of us now, and our resources are your resources. Let's head on back to the stalls to meet with the rest of the troop. W what has happened? It's chaos out here. Where are the rest of the men? There's Hank. Hank, what happened? Someone was caught stealing. I told them all not to steal this trip. Quickly, have the men get going and split up. We can't bring the sheriff back to the camp with us. Doe, are you all set on Tucker there? Do you think you could ride back on your own? Ah, just follow Hank, Doe. You'll be just fine. I'll meet you at the camp, all right? Be safe. All right, Lumberjack. Just stay calm, buddy. Let's get these bags loaded up and head home. Ride, Lumberjack. Whoa. Steady, boy. Well, hello there, Sheriff. How can I help you? I know nothing of a thief in these parts. I just came out to a heap of chaos and would like to get home before the sun sets. Me. Look familiar. <laughs> Don't worry, Sheriff. I get that a lot. I must have one of those generic faces. Most people feel as though they recognize me. What's this about a poster? Oh, no. <clears throat> No, sir. That is not me on the poster. I could never be a prince. I'm just a lonely commoner in town to run errands. Run, Lumberjack! I had no idea the kingdom put a bounty on my head. They've even spread the news to neighboring kingdoms. I suppose they'll want me back alive, and I'm sure there's a hefty reward. I guess I'm lucky I wasn't recognized until now. Pia, Lumberjack. We've got to lose the sheriff. Uh-oh. It seems that he's gathered a bit of a posse as well. This won't be easy, but we can do it. Faster, Jack. Come on, old buddy. They're gaining on us. There. There is a cave we can hide in until they've gone.
Don't make a noise, Lumberjack. It's all going to be okay. Okay. I think they're gone. Let's get home, but be quiet. Hello, everyone. I'm finally back home. Well, hello there, Doe Eyes. By golly, am I glad to see you. It seems you've made it back safe. No scratches or bruises. And you weren't followed. Amazing. The sheriff and a posse followed Lumberjack and I back into the woods, but we were able to hide in a cave and lose them. That was too close. All right. Who stole what? I strictly told you all that we were not to steal. Wait a second. Where's Alexander? Did we leave him behind? Well, we've got to go back and get him. He could be hurt for all we know. No, Hank. We have to go back to get him. He can't even speak for himself. He needs us more than ever. Well, if you're not going, then I am. No one gets left behind here. Anyone else who wants to accompany me is welcome, but I will not leave one of our own. No one. Wow. I never knew what a bunch of cowards you all are. No eyes. Are you sure you want to come? As I said, anyone is more than welcome, and you've earned your place here among us, Doe. I trust you. Now let's go get Alexander. The rest of you fools should at least make yourselves useful while you're here. Clean things up a bit and prepare us for the colder months, because winter is coming. <laughs> 